Doctor, we've talked about tocotrienols a little bit, and we've also talked about stroke. Uh, how do the two go hand in hand, and, and what do how do tocotrienols fit into uh, you know promoting a healthy uh, brain cells? You see, stroke you may already know is the number one cause for disability in this mm -hmm. country. It is the third cause of death. Mm -hmm. uh, when you are dead, you are dead. There is nothing to worry about beyond that. But when you are living and you are crippled, uh, it's enormous uh, torture not only for the person involved but it's a big cost to the society. So stroke is something that uh, you know, needs more studies. If you really look at what is out there today, once you have stroke, very little, very little. Mm -hmm. And if you really now analyze why so little, you would end up seeing that no single category, no single category of drug, uh, for example, if you had a neuroprotective agent, so that's a category of drug, neuroprotectants, mm. uh, not enough alone to give you a big protection against stroke. So it seemed that the ideal treatment for stroke will have to be multi-targeted. And as of now, we don't have that. There's a lot of studies going on. And as we started studying tocotrien now, our initial observations were the fact that neural cells or nerve cells uh, could be rescued from injury after they have been insulted. So it's not mm -hmm. like you had to pretreat the nerve cells. So we reported, here's an insult that would kill the neuron. Then after the insult, you go with the intervention, rescue 100% of the cell from death. We were very excited about that. Secondly, a lot of compounds are shown to have neuroprotective agents. The concentration at which tocotrienols work to protect neurons, in scientific uh, terminology, concentration is known to be in the level of nanomolar, nanomolar. There is nothing else, nothing, zero. If there's anything, I, I don't know. Uh, there's simply nothing in the nutritional industry, nothing of everything that has been published that can work at that nanomolar level and rescue a neural cell, nothing. Not only that, once we saw those cell studies and we went in vivo, meaning in the intact animal studies, mm -hmm. and we started feeding them, tocotrienol levels obviously uh, are kept uh, low in the circulation. Even if you take a whole lot, you cannot really spike it to a very high level. So there are checks and balances in your uh, system that keeps it to a modest uh, level. But that level is multifold more than what, I, what we actually need to protect. And indeed, when we first did our stroke study in 2005, and we published it in the American Heart Association journal called Stroke, which is the journal for stroke, and, and we demonstrated that hypertensive animals, when given to cotrino, can, um, uh, can, can, can rescue the brain against stroke-related injury. And, and that's huge because even if you have... Um, some rescue of some part of your brain. This may mean mm -hmm. that you could not talk and now you can talk. This may mean your left hand was not lifting and now you can lift. Mm -hmm. so, so depending on what part of the brain, you know, any benefit in the brain, manifestation is likely to be huge with respect to your life quality and what you can do in mm -hmm. most cases. So we were very excited about that. And then beyond that, a lot, there are a lot of small animal studies that show protection against stroke. But then that doesn't translate to humans. So the recommendation has been that go test your product in a large animal setting. So we started a study with uh, canines, you know, large mm -hmm. uh, canines. And uh, using the system we just published in 2011 that we see even better, better than the rodent studies. Uh, and, and the canine brain, by the way, with respect to gray matter, white matter that we have in the human brain, sure. much closer with respect to anatomical considerations of the human brain, much closer the canine than the mouse. And the canine brain is showing even better than what we sh saw in the mouse. So we are very excited and therefore we are now undertaking clinical studies.